So our foundation is a private non-profit that advocates for the environment, sustainable development and better recycling waste. We were set up in 2009, in 2010 we were authorised by the Canary Islands government. We managed the very first integrated management system for waste, which was 100% Canary Island owned. We have worked with many different uh, managed systems and the key priority here is to work on so producers, we have been able to position recycling, reposition it as a priority for the social uh, and economic development of the islands. Canary Islands is a group of islands with great diversity, environmental diversity, however we were not sorting our waste enough and too much of our waste ended up in landfills and it's not only this. We uh, had very low uh, rollout of recycling industry, therefore we drew up reports, we had educational projects to raise awareness in, in the Cardinal Islands on how to recycle better. And we also worked alongside many different organisations and companies so that we could achieve these targets. We set up a strategy, a multi-instrument strategy, so we have many different uh, instruments, including awareness raising. We are an environmental benchmark for all seven islands. And we have uh, been in charge of very different uh, environmental awareness raising campaigns. And we've also led uh, some of the f furthest reaching uh, initiatives for the Canary Islands. We have worked with local governments and in fact last year we raised the awareness of more than 150,000 people. Uh, we had a Ciclobeo project, this was with the Island Council of Tenerife that we managed to be together with them. It's been going for 14 years now and every single year this brings 15,000 pe people to the uh, at the Co Environmental Centre, we have another project with the Island Council of La Palma, in Macer and Ecuembes, and every single year we uh, invite 3,000 school children, primary school children, secondary school children, and other concerned stakeholders. Mm, so these are some of the few projects, many projects we've been working on, but we also work on training produces continuously because we think that this is the best way that we can uh, boost comp competitiveness. We have, uh, we give advice on environmental approaches, we fight against uh, environmental malpractice, in fact we apply, we use uh, state enforcement agencies to help us to work better. We educate them and we also have various different didactic resources, we've been pioneers in introducing by by bilingual uh, recycling and we also develop new technologies. We have a, a distance training platform, we use social networks and we also use uh, mobiles to work with young people. Mm, and our working methods is mm, perhaps uh, supported most by how we manage our approaches because people need to become aware of the fact that they need to manage waste properly and in fact wealth creation is based on a correct management of waste. Mm, so what we try to do is take people to recyclers, we take more visits to the recycling plant of run by e-waste or to Martinez Cano and there they can understand about waste. Uh, what else do we do? We also use a participatory methodology. We try to make people understand that they are active participants in social action. So how do we do this? We raise awareness amongst children, adults too. We organize projects to provide them with the tools uh, in their schools so that they can organize micro awareness raising campaigns. In this way, the children themselves become the agents of social transformation both in the schools, their neighbourhoods and in their towns and we think that this creates a multiplying effect for any kind of project that we work on. We believe in social entrepreneurialism, we believe in collaboration. Our foundation has 41 agreements with local, 
uh, agents. We also work alongside uh, sorting companies and we recycling companies. We also work with uh, Fundación La Caixa, Fundación uh, Caja Canarias, uh, private foundations. We also work with the National Foundation for the Development of Recycling in the Canary Islands. Uh, we are also members of many different uh, watchdogs and work groups, including the work group for the environment, the committee for waste or the island council of the uh, Tenerife Island Waste Management Plan. We also provide advice to Radio Echo, which is a local uh, And we also try to encourage um, recycling as a part of a key part of our industry because we think that uh, waste recycling in the Canary Islands is key to industry in the Canary Islands. It's a key ally for industry. However, there are certain um, obstacles that we need to overcome. We need to be able to guarantee a supply of raw materials in the long term so that we can set up green industry in the Canary Islands. So what do we need to do? We need, first of all, to have a waste regulation. We need a plan, a waste plan, that allows us to uh, implement the regulation of 2011. Uh, we think that the actual, the current plan is uh, obsolete, therefore we need to update our plan so that we can better reflect the reality of the islands at present. And we also need to um, introduce more recovery objectives. We need also a public body that brings in social and economic partners in the process so that they can all work together to better recycle waste. In our foundation, we are committed to making use of the opportunities that we have here in the island so we can develop a true and powerful recycling industry that allows us to create a circular economy in the Canary Islands. Mm. We have uh, the REF, which is our own financial uh, uh, regulation for the island. It's being updated at present. The fiscal regime was created over 20 years ago when this sector did not yet exist. So now that we are updating the a uh, fiscal regime for the islands. I think that we can introduce recycling as a central part of the new policy. We can introduce new principles, proximity for example, that waste must remain in the Canary Islands and must be recycled here. And we also need to apply the principle of continuity because we need to be able to offset the cost of waste production and generation in the islands. So we're going to see the update of the REF, the fiscal regime, and we'll, at the same time we are uh, islands that are distant from the rest of the, from the European continent and we need to be able to apply certain regulations to electronic and electric goods that are brought into our islands and analyse better exactly what is being imported to here. At the same time we can control what's exported from the island, waste exports. For example, we know that there is a serious problem in Af Africa because electronic goods are being exported to them despite the Basel Convention. Mm, Canary Islands has uh, customs that can, can better control the situation. Um, and also the region needs to be able to comply with national legislation. We have legislation on we products and the region here needs to be able to comply with national legislation because Canary Islands is falling behind with in relation to the rest of Spain, in terms of the recycling of electronic and electric goods. Therefore, we need to be able to meet targets with regards to waste recycling because we need to also take into account the impact on the travelling tourism populations that come and visit the islands. There are other different areas of legislation that we think will be important. We need to support um, green development. We need to make better use of the land here by bringing in uh, tax breaks for the improved development of the Canary Islands in general. 
and we therefore need to create a conducive context in the Canary Islands so that we can promote the uh, circular economy and so that we can attract businesses to the Canary Islands. What else? Mm. In 2010, we, we were founded and electronic and electric goods were hardly uh, recycled at all in the Canary Islands, but we set up a collection network and last year we collected 5,000 tons of electronic and electric goods. We collect on all seven islands, we don't differentiate between the smaller and larger islands. And thanks to this, we are finally catching up with uh, the rest of Spain, thanks to collaboration, support networks, and the recycling industry has supported us at every stage of the process. We also promote R&D. How do we do this? Through partnership agreements, through working together with university working groups, uh, technological developments. We have a project with the Biodiversity Foundation of the Environment Ministry to study refrigerant gases and the impact that they have, refrigeration gases, CFCs. Uh, these are the gases that are used in air conditioning systems and they have a impact on the environment that's 3,000 three, 3, times greater than CO2. Mm, but according to our studies, um, not even 1% of these gases are being recovered. Therefore, we need to continue the fight f to adapt to climate change. So these are all the various different areas that we work in. I'm sure that there are many other areas that I can't, uh, don't have time to tell you about. But we have a multidisciplinary team of professionals from very different areas, sociologists, biologists, engineers, teachers, environmental experts, teachers. Mm, and we also have a very stable network of collaborators, we have uh, jurists, uh, administrators, and many people from the field of in the environment. In only a few years, we have been awarded many various awards. You can see them. And we also monitor our carbon footprint, and we've been given awards because of that. And I think that uh, our achievements are a clear example of the interest in our sector. Mm, it's a meeting point for economic, social, university partners. It's key that universities also play a part in the process. And it's vitally important that everybody comes together and works together so that we can create a circular economy. Thank you very much.